Right then, adding a new image. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at our scratch and we're going to add a slightly different image than the image of the cat. So, onto the cat here, I've clicked on Sprite 1, I've ignored the scripts and I've gone to Costumes. And in Costumes, you can see there are two images of scratch. Now, as you notice, they're slightly different. The reason for this is it's to make her look as if she's walking by flicking between the two images. And that's all well and good, but I'd rather, instead of using an image of a cat, I'd like to use an image of a pink fluffy unicorn. So, to get your hands on this image, you need to go into Google Classroom. You need to go to the topics and scroll down to Scratch Lesson 4. And on Scratch Lesson 4, you first, I'd like you to click on where it says Platform, or click on the platform. Okay. Now, right-click, Save Image As. I'm not that worried where you save the image. You can place it in your downloads or you can place it in your My Documents. It's not that important as long as you remember where you saved it. Since you've saved the first image, on the right hand side here, click through, repeat the process, save image as. When you have, save image as, and so on and so forth. And you'll get to the last image, which is a unicorn bearing her head. Okay. Go back into Scratch. Inside my costumes, I click on the open folder and I find my first image, which is Left Unicorn 1. Open that. Repeat for Left Unicorn 2. And repeat again for Left Unicorn 3. Okay. We've now got the three main images. As you notice, first thing, they're all pointing left. And these two here are the ones to make our unicorn walk. The third one here is a kind of is going to be our unicorn charging. Now, I don't need the old images to scratch anymore, so away she goes. I'm just going to click on the image and click on the cross. Next thing to do will be to make a right image of unicorns. So I start with number one, I right click and I go duplicate. That's created a second copy. I can flip the copy up here by flipping flip left right. And now I want to change the name, which is up here, I change it from left to right unicorn one. I repeat that process. Right click duplicate, flip, rename, enter, and finally right click, duplicate, flip, and rename, right, unicorn 3. I'm going to leave for these purposes back on left unicorn one, go to scripts. One last thing is if we look at that at the moment oops, we can see that our unicorn is slightly large. If uh, we're to run this th this isn't going to make much of a platform. She's rather large. In fact if I want to press this little icon here on the top this is how big the actual game will be and we're not going to get much fun out of a game where you can only move a couple of steps left or right so press back to normal I'm going to use the shrink icon up there click on our unicorn and shrink her down to what looks like a very small size but now when we run full screen you can see that's actually about right for a platform game Okay. So you just need to do that. Don't worry about flipping costumes, as they will all maintain the same size. One thing, please don't shrink in costume mode, is I want you to shrink in script mode. That's quite important. Okay, thank you very much. So what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to, you can always rewind this video if you're not sure, but go into the costumes, import all of the images to begin with, and then open up inside Scratch, your free left unicorns. Flip and duplicate them and rename them 
and remove the old images and then you can pop back to scripts use the shrink icon to bring your unicorn down to a good size okay oh, oh and once you've done that please don't forget to save away you go